Welcome back to the 10th episode of a sim golf playthrough here on impossible difficulty and uh, Well, where we left off last time there were some bugs happening and I let the game just run for a little while So we had some money to uh, to continue our endeavor sir with the course construction And I gotta tell you uh, a few more bugs happened uh, <laughs> In that time I had this lady she played uh, out this hole and then suddenly she was Pissed off with the course and just resigned her membership, started raging, and uh, it, it, she, there was something about she was walking too much or something. And I looked at her and she was currently playing on hole 19. Haven't seen that before, so something bugged out with her completing this hole. And uh, yeah, it made her resign her membership, so. And I've seen some weird things going on with the uh, teeing here as well, so I might need to have a look at that and see if uh, if I can't improve the situation I kind of want the whole less of this uh, but the thing is also I think this is bugging out because the, there's really nothing like plus or minus going on here. I guess we'll give it some time and see if this oh okay maybe not it changed though so it could be just because uh, uh, yeah, something was spoken out. I needed to load the game back or something. Um, they're not happy with this hole. But either way, I mean, I was gonna construct hole number seven. And uh, for that, I guess I was thinking. Um, yeah, what was I thinking, actually? Uh, like a part three or. Yeah, I think maybe a part three just over here could actually be good. Uh, improvements need to be made to this hole, and there you go with the uh, graphical awesomeness that uh, sometimes occur. Uh, maybe it's better like this, and uh, just keep it like that for now, I guess. Uh, so I think maybe a part three over here, and we could make like some border obstacle or something. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, uh, a little bit of change of plans, sir. Um, so I'm gonna just have a part three tee off from. Well, I think maybe here actually. Uh, which is kind of wasted a bit of space, sir, but. I have a plan, so uh, I'll get to that when, uh, <laughs> like I want to have a par 5 hole going over here, or par 4, or whatever it turns out to be, really. Probably going to be a par 4, at least if we hold the terminal, which maybe we should after we open these holes. Um, what I was thinking for this hole is uh, we put the green over here-ish, like, I'd say here's a good spot, so that make it a... What is this? Press H to open hole. It's bugging out still. Who wants to open that hole? Well, that that's hole zero, but it already is a hole. What? Uh, well, I already built the team, but I built something else over it. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? What now? But what will happen to the hole that's already there then? And a hole, hole zero that happened last time too. Never seen that before. I'm gonna open it and then I'm gonna just demolish it with something. Do I have a hole zero now? Oh, for fuck's sake, I did not intend to play practice then. Can I... Oh, Lord. Dude, look at this. Look, there's a whole zero here. <laughs> what? I have a whole zero. First golf course ever to have that. This... I think the game is broken. I'm not sure we can continue, because this is bound to lead to some freaking issues. Never in my life have I seen this before. Well, I mean, with a practice round, we can at least maybe improve some of our skills. That would be nice. 
In fact, let's pause that real quick and put in a uh, skill increase in the statue here, like a civil war cannon. That looks good. Let's smack that in the works and change the terrain ever so slightly. There we go. Alright, well, unpause. And, uh... I mean, no one's playing on whole zero, so maybe it isn't a problem, it just adds another hole and, like, I don't know, like... It doesn't actually have an effect. I mean, it's all seven, we didn't play on whole zero, so I think we're fine, I guess. Now my idea here is, uh... Pretty much this, we're gonna have some water around the soil. And the challenge will lie in that. Um, uh, well, okay, water like that as well. This is kind of wasteful when it comes to space, but. Okay, either way, we'll figure this out though. Um, just raise the terrain here a little bit. So it fits with the surrounding area and doesn't have all these weird ass nonsensical waterfalls going on. Something like this, and then I would like to uh, really make this a weird one. It might be good. You know, it might make it popular because it's different. Alright, next hole. Don't really care how we did, just gonna hope we don't mess our skills up. Um, yeah, they're not really playing onto the hole as it is right now, but there we go, now they do. Uh, and now they're not doing it. So, which one of these is the 7? There's like a plus 7 there. No, hole 7. Okay, I was seeing this number and I'm like, where is the elevation like that? But, uh, nowhere. Absolutely no way. Um, this might be a bit steep, actually. And then uh, lower the terrain slightly. Like this, that's probably better. Uh, it costs a lot to do this, though, but oh well. We get a uh, scenic bridge here that people can walk over. Run away to and from the hole. I guess we could just open the hole here, and then uh, we'll fill in with some other... Ah, we didn't have that, whatever. Now yeah, we're not going to get out of here, are we? This guy just, he keeps hitting the damn uh, trees over here. Uh, well, at least he didn't lose any skill rating. That's the important part, so... I don't know, I'll just go low, I guess. Doesn't really matter, it's only practice rounds, as long as we don't lose any skill, then... It's all good. Now, let's see. Um, if we kind of connect this up here like that, um, I hope no one's going to complain about balls almost hitting them here now. There's a chance that might be the case. Not the way I intend to do this, but we'll see. No, not, not the ball washer there. Uh, Oh well, I guess we'll have the ball washer there, whatever. Gonna have to pay too much. Uh, not too much, but we're gonna have to move it and buy a new one otherwise. I'm just not keen on that. Alright, uh, there's a few solutions we need to come up with. And I really wish we weren't doing this practice round right now. I just, yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, get some benches out. We need to get a uh, groundskeeper on the ground cell as well. Should probably have a technician, but for now I'll just, I'll, I'll redo the whole uh, employee thing a bit later. For now, oh no, that's not the guy I want to move. What's the groundskeeper? There we go. Alright, so, something like that. And, um, I want to get some scenic trees going here as well to kind of separate these holes a little bit more. So, in some of these. This place will look better later, but for now it is what it is, so. Um, I think we're gonna maybe raise the elevation around this area to five. 
I was kind of hoping to just finish this hole here and then just, or like the next hole after this, and then uh, run a tournament, but since I accidentally pressed for a practice round, I don't think we can do that, so... That kind of sucks a bit, but... Well, at least we get to play hole 7, I guess. Give that a little play test, although it literally is extremely straightforward. Like it, <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be more straightforward if it was flatter, but... Uh, just as straight as it gets. Um, so I'm hoping this is like an accuracy hole or something. Like we might, uh, yeah, so far people ain't liking it. So we might need to make changes to it. Which is fine and we'll do that if, um, if that's the case. But we'll see. Um, just want to have like uh, eight holes ready to go. And then we'll start making these holes better after that. I just want to practice around here anyway right now. So... Gotta do a little bit of uh, rotation here. I kinda wanna have this ready by the time we get over here. Which I guess would be an easier task if I paused the game, but I also want to make some money while uh, playing over here, so. You already built the T for her late. Yes, thank you, I know that. And, and what, uh, I think I stopped myself mid sentence earlier there, but what I wanted to say was I hope that for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what I was saying. For me teeing off uh, here, or having people tee off here, towards here, won't make people walking on this road go like, Hey, that ball almost hit me all the damn time, and lose, uh, lose mood over that. I mean, it could happen, and I really hope it doesn't, but we'll see. Um, so, where do I want this to go? As far as possible, I'd say. Ah, but the thing is, they might start hitting over to this fairway from here if I build a hole here now it's actually something that might happen gonna have to um, do a couple of things to try to make it not actually um, like for instance get some uh, some scenic trees in here can I please not have to hit the ball all the fucking time. Lord almighty. I'm gonna hit the tree again, so that's uh, just what I wanted. I get those in there, get some of these tall ones in here. Just kind of surrounding the tee a little bit for now. We'll, we'll put in more if we have to. Uh, and I think I'll actually put the green over here, so that we have a chance to put like dense forest in. And a past six? Where is this supposedly? Where, where's this teeing off from? Th this is not teeing off from here. Where the fuck is that? Where? Is, is it? Is this a par 6 distance? Wow, uh, okay. Um, seems more like a 4 or 5, but we'll have a tournament and uh, we'll, we'll have a turn in the 5, so it's all good. Uh, dandelions here, do we have a groundskeeper on that, or what the hell, are we... Yo, there's a lot of dandelions here, this guy's just chilling. Do your damn job. Uh, right, either way, uh, so continuing here, I would like... Maybe like a long tin one. Like a long tin hole. Get some fairway out there, and I think maybe... A little bit of a... Bunker, not a hole. Um, okay, yeah, I have an idea of how to solve this so now. They shouldn't want to play backwards, so what I'm going to do is just kind of move this hole out this direction. It's going to be kind of a dog leg eating. Um, right, that works initially. I'm not going to open it yet, though, I think. And also, well, does this really work? It looks kind of shit, to be honest. Well, something like this, I guess. Um, yeah, and then... Just, just fill out with this stuff here. Have it in line with the rest of the style that's going on in the area. I'll just hit like that, actually. It seems like a safer shot than... Uh, in disgust after hole 3, why? 
And also now we need to just kind of lift her up and get her to the damn clubhouse. Uh, here we go. But what? What? Why? I guess she just came in with a really bad mood or something. It's not her day. Oh well. That's how it is sometimes, I guess. Oh, someone down the ball. This should really not be that hard of a hole. Very straightforward, then, I guess. More challenging than it looks. Uh, definitely needs improvement. And we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Right now it's tanking our skill rating, and that's not good, but... Eh, uh, it's not that high of a priority right now. I first want to get all these holes kind of up and running, and then... Then we'll kind of adjust them a little bit and uh, make them good. And yeah, for now, I'll be satisfied with just regular trees, so I'm not going to show if I can afford to fill the entirety of this out with it. Actually, I can. Um, which is fine, I guess. Oh, can we just be <laughs> done with the pack? Okay, well, we're getting close to the new hole, so just kind of little bit annoying to deal with right now. Put some bunker there. A smack in a park bunker there for good measure. Lower the terrain down in the crossing area. And there's a lot of terrain adjustments we need to make here. Probably going to make more adjustments as well later, but for now anyway. Um, oh crap, yeah, I need to get this hole back on a track after it's... Uh, after we're done playing here, I think maybe we can loop them through here. Um, right, okay, I better open that hole soon. I'll open it now, we'll see how it looks playing like this. Just it's open whenever the heck I'm over there. And I'll uh, put this pathway in here. Just coming in for the people to backtrack and walk on to. Which, either way you look at it, this is a terrible place to end this hole, actually. <laughs> uh, just a lot of backtracking, no matter how you look at it after this one. Unless I expand in this direction. Then I just walk over here, and we keep going down this way. Yeah, maybe I'll do that, actually. Uh, but yeah, this, this entire area certainly needs a little bit more loving. Right, well, I'll race the terrain around here, up to four, I guess, uh, most, yeah, I'll lower it to three, might be better, aesthetically, look at that land, look at that lay, I mean, what a place to have a ball, I don't even care, just gonna smack it after the rock and see what happens, um, right, well, a little bit on the lower side here, which could be interesting. Try to make the terrain look all good and appealing, I guess. Um, actually, I'm thinking maybe a slant down towards uh, towards the rough on this one, so it's not so forgiving. Uh, it could be a good call. Could be a terrible call. Actually, I'll do it, but I'll do it here, like in limited. Um, wow, what's the word I'm looking for? Like not outreach, but um, yep, I have no idea what word I'm looking for. But uh, yeah, not have uh, the entire area kind of sloping down towards the rough, but just like a little bit around the edges. Could have a little bit of slope to this entire area right here. And go even deeper down like this. So there's a real chance you could actually go into the rough hill if you don't place your shot well. And I mean, this should be straightforward, right? Shouldn't be any problem, so. Right, I think we'll tie a tournament next episode. Oh, wow. Well, at least didn't lose any skill rating. Hey, Varna Richmond's there now. That's nice. Hope she donates a uh, landmark to us. But, either way, let's get some benches out in the area here. That, maybe. And, uh, ball washer. Uh, we'll move these benches, I guess. Put the ball washer there. Uh, get a hold down. 
Oh wow, Randy Rage ain't in a good mood. Attitude is terrible. Oh, oh, oh yeah, well I guess I would be too if I hit shots like that. Come on, you can do it. I mean, I don't know what else to aim the ball. That's like really only one place you can aim it. Well, well that looks fine, I guess. Um, right, let's get out some benches. Uh, low ground area. Then I was thinking a snack bar here, I believe. Which, let's also get to that, actually. Yeah, let's kind of pimp up this area a little bit. Um, right, so how do I... Oh, I should probably get some trees blocking out here, actually. Right, this whole elevation doesn't seem entirely right. Something like this, and this needs to be lowered. So... Oh, perfect. Long drive is good. That's great. That's... Glad I accidentally hit this practice round. That paid off. Um, either way. Too thirsty to play more after hole 8. I'm working on exactly that. Uh, uh, yeah, here. Okay. What the hell's the snack bar? There we go. 15,000. I thought it was 10,000. But okay, we just need a little bit more money and we're good to go. Oh, lost a bunch of money to Sally still. Oh well. Oh yeah, this hole needs a bit of loving. So does this. I need to come up with something. Maybe just completely restructure. Yeah, we'll see in due time. Man, so we can't afford to build that yet. Well, I can, but whatever. I'm gonna keep editing the uh, course a little bit. Um, so we got elevation 4 here, I think we go down to 2, and that wouldn't look too unnatural. Which is kind of a thing I have a little bit of an OCD about when I play these games, or this game. I wish it was these games, I wish there was a sequel, but sadly that's not the case. And I don't think there ever will be. Whoa, that's a bit of a mess up. Ah, uh, recovery skill improved at least, so... You win some, you lose some, as they say. And I think I should be a little bit more fine tuning here with the uh, with this. Uh, just go straight there. Uh, I think we need to play a bit of these holes, see how to play, and then make some changes after that. Um, I'm not too big on making too many changes right now, although I see a lot of. Uh, a lot of stuff that could be improved quite easily. And uh, we'll certainly get to that. Right, something like this terrain wise might work, or elevation wise anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's get that snack bar out there so people uh, can get, uh, get something to drink. I don't know, sometimes it seems like they only get it from a soda vendor though, but I feel like the snack bar should provide that as well. Uh, leaving a hole in disgust. Yeah, cause someone's going on burping or some shit. Or not? She hates her life and everything. Okay, let's put her to the clubhouse so she doesn't make everyone else angry as well. Oh fuck, we got a... Uh, we got some domino shit in our hands, so I think. Oh lord. It's a game breaking... Down. Oh, we don't have enough of these, like, make golfers happy things around here. I just expanded the hole so I didn't think about actually keeping golfers happy as they go here. So that's what we got to put money into now, then. Getting a little thirsty. You know what? I'm just going to save it for now. Just get a damn soda vendor, like, uh, where is she there? Like, in this general area. I am picky has come to play. God damn it, we don't have the money for that. And we don't have the money to keep him happy on the... Oh, no. No. This is not the right time. How is our skill rating up this much? Okay, I guess this hole is going the right way. 
Oi, damn it. This isn't ideal that I am picky so right now. Because I'm struggling to keep people happy. Um, it's getting to that point in time where you kind of need to play the game like this. Uh, no, what the hell? Go away. Because uh, when you play like this... Uh... Every, I explained this in the first episode, I believe. Like these landmarks, they have certain like happy endings or happy gold or effects like this. Um, but for that to take effect, I believe these things need to actually be loaded on the screen. And uh, right now, I gotta tell you, they're not when I play like this. Um, most places anyway which might be why we're looking at a uh, lot of mood like this although it is more like to the later parts of the course which could come back to um, or could come down to me not having enough stuff making people happy so i can at least throw down a sundial and Shit, I'll just go up another sundial. I can't really afford much more right now. So a couple of uh, a couple of sundials in this area, sir, for now. And uh, we really need the money too, it's a problem. So. And I want to set up three sale too, like scenic ones. But I guess I just got a prioritize, sir. And the priority has to be saving up a little bit of money so I can actually... Uh, Uh, pay for the land expansion. I was hoping to do a exhibition match against a pro for some money, but that's not happening because we've done uh, too many changes to the course. Or rather, um, well, we've added more holes, so these things reset when we do that. Can I not? Can I? I just want to iron pick. Okay, fuck it. I'll do it the hard way then. Which in this case is the easy way, I guess, but. Uh, yeah, if he gets close to the end of the course and we don't have enough money to actually spend, which I have no idea of knowing actually beforehand how much that's going to cost this time, uh, we might need to just remove a massive amount of uh, scenic trees or something. But at least he's in good mood. He's got birdie on his first hole though, so... Uh, people are whining a lot. Uh, maybe I've made this too hard. People are not happy in this area. There's too many balls going in the water and such. Uh, so how can I save that situation? Well, I think I have an idea. Uh, okay, well, I guess I can't do that exactly, but what I can do is uh, put some green there. There's a fair way like this. And I move the water over one, uh, one square here. Make sure everything is nice and on level 4 here, elevation wise. Uh, even this stuff here, I guess. Not that it wasn't initially the plan, but hey, things change. You gotta adapt and, uh, you know, go with the times. Now there should be a lot less people hitting the water, which makes it a whole lot less difficult, but. Whatever, this is just placeholder hole, basically. Uh, we need to make some changes to that in the future. Right now, I, I can't really. Well, I mean, I guess I can, but I just... Hmm, it might cost some money and I have other priorities. And as I say that, I'm going to plop down a scenic tree here. Just to, uh, yeah, go against my own words. I mean, okay, so 11 people have assigned by now, which is... Oh, wait, what's this? Gold member? Oh, nice. Oh, first gold member. That message stuck around for a long time. Although more important messages don't. <laughs> Gotta love that. Uh, so how exactly is the terrain here now? Yeah, it's like it's fine. You can hit straight over the green. I don't know. Yin and yang type thing here going right now. Um, now the difficulty rating and everything was decent. But people were just really unhappy. I, I don't know. We can maybe make it back to what it was before these changes uh, but first I need to those, those other things need to happen first for now I'm just gonna leave this as it is 
and let Iron Picky play to it. And we'll take it from there. He's in a really good mood at least. We should probably stay on him so that uh, at all times the happiness things are loaded. Because I'm not playing the game like this. I refuse to play the game like this. It's not gonna happen. That's no fun. Screw that. That's a whole tree. That's uh, this soul. And yeah, so far it's doing good. So let's hope that keeps up. And let's hope our economy improves by the time he's done. He said as he purchased something else unnecessary. And did it again. Oh, kind of. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Well, I think we'll be good, money-wise, when the time comes. If we are in, we'll sell off some trees. If we look at the happiness number, so... Oof. There, there's typically at some point when you play this difficulty, things just get really, really difficult. Like, to, to keep people happy. I, I'm not sure if it depends on how many holes you got, or if it's just the fact that you need to play the game like this at all times. Not sure. But I mean, I, I just assume you wouldn't want to watch a playthrough of this. I wouldn't. And I wouldn't want to play the game like this. So I'm not gonna. And if the game breaks down on uh, down on me and we have a domino effect going, then so be it. Then I'll skip down a difficulty level for another playthrough, I guess. Oh, Lord. Uh, what, what, what is the problem here, though? Sand trap, sand, uh, ugly water tower. Just angry at everything, this guy. It's not like hard to avoid these sand traps, just saying. I haven't placed them as like an actual challenge. Let's go on. Hey, they want a whole tournament tunnel. Good, we can do that after I am picky stuff. Or we can hold a tournament. Chase I and Picky back, or like off the course, and have him come back later. Uh, another guy, no signing member, shit. Who, why? Fucking hell. Just when this happens, when they get go ballistic like this, you gotta just take them to the clubhouse, because they're gonna walk through everyone and they're gonna spread this terrible mood. This guy's about to have a breakdown too, or something. Oh, he's leaving disgust after the whole tree. Because people walked past them and were angry. Can you just get off the course and stop whining? Don't go and say hi to people, you piece of shit. See, this is the kind of shit that ends an impossible playthrough, usually, for me. Uh, just it gets like a domino effect here, because I can't be, I can't be bothered playing a game like this, and that's how the... Um, Impossible playthroughs usually have ended for me historically. I've actually gotten a lot further this time than I had before playing uh, this difficulty, so I'm not sure exactly why that is. But you know what, I think I'm gonna actually end the episode here, and we can continue this endeavor next time, because, um, yeah, I'm a bit tired if I'm honest, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call it up, and uh, I'll, uh, come back refreshed next time so hope you enjoyed the episode if you did i would appreciate if you would uh, consider leaving a like on it maybe even subscribing if you haven't already totally up to you of course either way you can catch me in the next one so have a good one